Okay, let's talk a minute about independent and dependent variables. If you're in my class, this corresponds to 4.3 from the textbook. If you're in somebody else's class, this is, um, has to do with writing functions, whatever chapter that may be. If you're taking a statistics course, this presentation will not be useful at all for those folks in statistics, but for the Algebra 1 students, this should, should help you out. Your uh, independent variable, that's going to be your input of a function. So your independent variable, independent, that's your input. And that's just, you know, a function is going to look something like this, right? We haven't really talked too much about that, but, but pretty much your independent variables, whatever, we're going to plug in here to get some answer, right? Your answer is your output which is your dependent variable. Dependent your output, right? So, I want to use this and you'll see your ordered pair sum. So your x is your input and your y is your output. So let's so that's kind of the vocabulary. Basically your input is the independent variable or the output the function is the dependent variable, or the value of the dependent variable depends on whatever your independent variable is. So, um, how does this work? Well, let's think, think about some examples here. Let's say that you make $10 an hour. You work 10 hours, and you make 100 bucks, right? That's your total pay. But what does your total pay depend on? Well, it depends on how many hours you work, right? Total pay depends on the number of hours worked, right? So here, you know, you work 10 hours, you make 10 bucks. You work 2 hours, you make 20. You work 10 make 30 on you know say you work 100 hours you make a thousand bucks right so think about this this right here stays the same right stays the same so what stays the same so what stays the same is the independent variable, right? What changes is the dependent. So, and you'll be seeing some questions like this, you know, it'll say, you know, you're making 10 bucks an hour, you work 10 hours, so what's your dependent variable? What I always do is write it out. You know, let's maybe look at a, think about this. an ice cream truck. Right. So, er, that's me going after the ice cream truck. Now, the thing that I'd notice is the, the hotter it gets, the more I see, my, I see the ice cream truck, right? Oh, and this is kind of a good question, you know, and, and you'll see variations of this. It, the hotter it gets, the more ice cream trucks drive around. So, is it the ice cream truck that's making it hotter, or is it the temperature that's causing the ice cream truck driver to say, hey, I need to make some money, I'm going to drive around while it's hot. So, to think about this, so, the number of ice cream trucks depends on the temperature, right? On the ah, should say on, right? On the temp. On the temp. So let's just think about this. Your ice cream truck depends. So your ice cream truck 
is your dependent variable. Your temperature is the independent variable. And really, guys, you know, what I do is I'll take these questions and I'll put it in this format here, that, you know, kind of make a sentence just like this, you know, why, you know, and basically this is your, your go-to sentence, why it depends on X. So I always have this word in here and there'll be some kind of statement, you know, the ice cream truck depends on temperature. Well, your ice cream truck, that's going to be your Y variable. Ice cream. And X is your temperature. So, kind of a, we're going to wrap it up in a little table here. So your independent variable, your dependent, your independent variable, that's going to be your X values. Your, also your domain, that's your input, and it's your X from your ordered pair, right? Your dependent variable, it's your Y values, that's your range, that's your output, and it's either going to be Y or F of X. And you'll find out later that F of X is equal to Y. So that's independent, dependent variables. I hope this has helped you out. Uh, but basically, remember the input of a function is the independent variable. The output of a function is the dependent variable. The value of the dependent variable depends on or is a function of the value of the independent variable. Remember that, and you'll be okay. If not, drop me an email. I'll try to clarify it a little bit more. Good luck with your independent, dependent variables.